Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indy 500 Project. Today's experiment is Rogue Legacy, which is developed by Cellar Door Games. And here's what the game has to say about itself. Rogue Legacy is a gene genealogical rogue light, not like light, where anyone can be a hero. Each time you die, your child will succeed you. Every child is unique. One child might be colorblind, Another might have vertigo. They could even be a dwarf. That's okay, because no one is perfect. And you don't have to be perfect to win this game. But you do have to be pretty darn good because this game is hard. Fortunately, every time you die, all the gold you've collected can be used to upgrade your manor, giving your next child a step up in life, and another chance to, to at vanquishing evil. But you shouldn't listen to me, you should check out the trailer. It explains the game better than I ever could. If you really want to read about this game though, then you should check out the bullet list below. And then they just list a bunch of features for the game. But, let's see what the game has to offer, shall we? So, the deal is that... Uh, quick jump and a high jump. The deal is that every time we die, we will be succeeded by... Our children, or rather, a child, and that child will have some sort of flaw. I'm not sure if everything will be a flaw. It may be that they actually have some sort of perks somewhere. I'm using a 360 pad, by the way, if that isn't apparent by the instructions. Is this my mansion or someone else's mansion? Because I'm destroying stuff. And I don't want to destroy my stuff. Ah! Platforms. And of course, of course, wall chickens. I want to use the thumbstick, but that may actually be a harder route to go. It's getting quite hard to aim precisely downwards with it. But yeah, let's use the cross instead, D-pad. Okay, what is going on? Except for the music disappearing. Did I just destroy the king? Well, yeah. Welcome to Rogue Legacy. And here we are. Running around, chopping in the air. All right, the castle is building because it's a rogue light after all. Treason, an assassin had wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom. He has sent my sibling and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the cursed woods and into Castle Hampson. This cursed castle had stood on the edge of the worlds of the woods since time is immemorable. But rumors say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight, I will get a head start over my brother and sister and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. You a-hole! You could have waited. You really could have. Select a teleporter. We don't have any teleporters yet. So let's just... Let's just keep going. Ah, I was kind of hoping to like roll that thing, but apparently not. So far, a... Basic slash him up with some nice platforming. Whoop. 
get over here. Hmm. Okay, so maybe I do not want to attack possessed items. But then again, I gotta have the gold, I gotta have the HPs. And all that. So I can step on the... No, then what happened? Didn't I step on this? Oh, maybe I... Yeah, I stepped on the bookcase. That explains it. Ah! Whoa, that is powerful. Oh! And death came early. Sir Lee has been slain by Barbatos. Hard areas offer great rewards. Choose your hair. Yeah, yeah. There, you don't pronounce the H. Sir Hero the Knight, Endomorph, or Sir Hans by the Knight with stereo blind nearsightedness. Stereo blindness is that you can't see 3D. Let's see. Oh, on the right side. Here we go. Class Knight trait. Stereo blind, nearsighted. Anything far away is blurry. Fires daggers directly. You're so heavy, enemies can't knock you back. Well, that's good, I guess. Hypergonadism. You're permaroided. Attack knocked the enemy further. How is this a bad thing? A risky hero, low stat, but can learn devastating critical strikes. Standard hero, pretty good at everything. Standard hero, pretty good at everything. Ah, let's go for the risky one. Fifty goals to unlock. Yes, we can do that. Let's see here. Mana up or health up? Let's go for health up first. Mm, and yeah. Okay, so we're buying upgrades. So now I have the ability to block, which I'm guessing is gonna get useful at some point, most likely. I am burning. Maybe you could help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the lands. But one day the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Without those blueprints, I can only make cutlery and stuff. Please bring back any blueprints you find and I can build the most amazing equipment ever. Ever! At a price, of course. Of course. But right now, I can buy a cutlery. Squire sword. I do not have enough gold for your equipment, sir. I like the way he's running like that. Ha ha! Ha ha! How about you? What? What you want? Pay the toll? Give cheer on all of your money down to the castle. Oh, so... Ah... Uh. I wonder if that goes to a bank of some sort, or if, or if it just disappears. No teleportation yet. What about... Ah, uh, still only entry number one. Oh, skip, 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 skip. Now. Whoop, uh, wow. The castle has changed. So you really can't learn the castle, which is basically what a rogue like or light is all about. Randomly generated areas. Ow. And permadeath. Why can't I chop that? I wanted to chop that. And I still can't block, though. I thought I was supposed to be able to block with the... Uh, maybe I need to like buy a shield or something first. I gotta say I'm digging the music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get over here. Ah, there we go. 
Yeah, you in my house now. Whoa. Almost didn't make it. Ah. Well, what's with all the haunted painting paintings? Been there, been there. Let's go upwards on the side of that. Still with all the charging about with the sword drawn. Charge! Oh, that looks just great. <clears throat> yeah. There we go. Ouch. Whoa, I I just noticed noticed that I only had 12 health. Yeah. Bury me with my money. And here we see. From Johannes came Sir Lee. From Sir Lee came Sir Jimmy. And from Sir Jimmy came Let's see. Lady Chun Li. Walking tank. Uh standard hero, pretty good at everything. A special Guardian's shield. Oh, she has a shield. Right, right. Or oh, knave, a risky hero. Low status, but lands devastating critical strikes. We've done that one already. The bald and the beautiful. You are very flexible. What does that even mean? Oh, yeah, we need to throw spikes or, or daggers with the B button as well. We keep forgetting to do that. Hmm. IBS. How would that even play out? I want to go with the IBS one because I want to see how that actually works mechanically. Hmm. So let's go with mana up and then let's keep building our castle. Enchantress or Architect. We can afford neither. So. That's an easy pick, actually. And still not enough money for this stuff. Nope. And we don't have any blueprints. And we're gonna have to pay a fee. <sighs> I know all this. I haven't gotten that far yet. That was effective. Uh, uh, note that blocking is not instant. Not kill those things. Oh, let's just keep going instead. Whoa, it costs mana to get hit by those? Ah! Now I'm dead again. One more hit and I'm gone. And there we go. Lady Antoinette was slain by Charit. Charit. Very useful for practicing against bosses. Let's just end Lady Antoinette. Is it the gat when they have a kid? No, that's something else. I believe. Hmm. And Lady Antoinette left a hat named hmm, Lady Stephanie, or Lady Sonia, or Lady Henrietta. Z, television, ectomorph, you're skinny, so every hit sends you flying, or baldness. I want to see tunnel vision. I'm picking characters on based on what their negative sides are. And still can't afford anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give you all my gold. Good. Bye.
Still trying to figure out how tunnel vision works. No, this isn't fair. I can't get up there. Or can I? Ah. Well, I can't get up there, though. If I activate that platform, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Claiming that this game is hard is an understatement. This game is punishing. Let's see. Paladin Tunnel Vision. Corporal what? Corporalalia. No idea. OCD. Must clear house. Break stuff to restore MP. Okay. Uh, dwarfism. Uh, this one sounded more interesting. Yeah, still no money. Let's just... Keep going. Charge! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, that special weapon was kind of cool. Will it just keep going? No, not forever, though. Do they have like a Tourette's or something? Or a Tourette's, I mean Tourette's. Do I have Tourette's? Or turrets? Turrets would be nice. I could just take care of everything from a distance. Just wait for them to come to me. I must destroy everything. Whoop. And I have no shield. Man, this game is hard. But with every good game in this genre, I never feel like it's the game's fault that I'm dying. It's just that I'm messing up. I'm not good enough at this game to actually survive. Farsighted, uh, ectomorph, or gigantism. Let's go for far side. Mm, I can actually upgrade something. I think. Nope, need 100 gold. <laughs> oh, I can't see stuff that's up close. Oh man, this must be so annoying if I was uh, nearsighted instead of farsighted. Okay. And I just destroyed any chance of going upstairs here. No idea if there was anything upstairs, but... Yeah, you would think this wouldn't be, like, that annoying, but, wow, it really is. Whoa. Let's do just one more. Because this game is actually really good. Even if I'm dying, you tend to exaggerate. Oh, hyp hypochondriac. P.A.D. Peripheral arterial disease. No foot pulse. What? That's weird. I'm Bill. I'm You got two left hands, and you can't cast spells properly. Okay, but gigantism. Let's go for that. Man, mm, now I have a little more money. Hmm. What do I need? I need to... I need more health, actually. Or do I need to unlock something? Magical runes and powers. Gain the powers to lock... Lock down the castle. And... Let's go for magical runes and powers. 
Then I knew Enchantress unlocked. Wow, that's a big one. Hello, hero. Could I borrow you? Yes, for a moment. I am in need of your help. I used to be a very powerful Enchantress. But one day, the monsters of the castle invaded my dreams and stole my knowledge. They encased that knowledge in runes, and without those runes, I suck at my job. Please, hero, if you find any runes, bring them back to me, and then I'll sell it back to you at a profit. Of course you will. All the voices are based on Monty Python characters, though. Just so you know. Because they're having a reunion. Now, do I gain anything by being... Yeah. <laughs> Being uh, gigantic, do I gain any HP or anything else, or am I just a bigger target for ah all their projectiles? I'm gonna go with the bigger targets for strategy or theory. Now I'm, I need more health again. No. Ah. I need to be more careful. Doom vase. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been Rogue Legacy. A very tight platforming beat em up with a unique little twist that every time you play, you get some sort of disadvantage. And it's very punishing, very hard, and very fun. I mean, I, like I said, every time I die, it's because I messed up. That is nothing to do with the controls or anything. But yeah, Rogue Legacy. Until next time, happy gaming. Dwarf. That's okay, because no one is perfect, and you don't have to be perfect to win this game. But you do have to be pretty darn good because this game is hard. Fortunately, every time you die, all the gold you've collected can be used to upgrade your manor, giving your next child a step up in life, and another chance to, to, uh, at vanquishing evil. But you shouldn't listen to me, you should check out the trailer. It explains the game better than I ever could. If you really want to read about this game though, then you should check out the bullet list below. And then they just list a bunch of features for the game. But, let's see what the game has to offer, shall we? So, the deal is that... Uh, quick jump and a high jump. The deal is that every time we die, we will be succeeded by... Our children. Or rather, a child. And that child will have some sort of flaw. I'm not sure if everything will be a flaw. It may be that they actually have some sort of perks somewhere. I'm using a 360 pad, by the way, if that isn't apparent by the instructions. Is this my mansion or someone else's mansion? Because I'm destroying stuff, and I don't want to destroy my stuff. Platforms. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indie 500 Project. Today's experiment is Rogue Legacy, which is developed by Cellar Door Games, and here's what the game has to say about itself. Rogue Legacy is a gene genealogical rogue light, not like light, where anyone can be a hero. Each time you die, your child will succeed you. Every child is unique. One child might be colorblind, another might have vertigo. They could even be a 